Greetings to all. We are very happy to welcome you back to our series of training videos on troubleshooting common issues in boiler operation, brought to you by DBI. Today we will delve into the next issue, boiler water overflow. What is boiler water overflow? As you may know, the water level in a boiler is divided into four basic levels as follows. Level one, high water level, the pump will stop working. Level two, low water level, the pump will turn on to supply water into the boiler. Level three, first warning level, the water has reached the first warning level. The alarm and light will be triggered and the boiler will still operate normally in automatic mode. Level four, second warning level, the water has reached the high, high water level alarm. The alarm and light will be triggered and the boiler will temporarily stop in automatic mode, only allowing operation in manual mode unless the manager's password is entered to resume automatic operation. Water overflow occurs when the water in the boiler exceeds the high water level. Level one, the boiler becomes overfilled, reducing the steam space and increasing the risk of water carryover. Boiler flooding is a common issue, but often overlooked during boiler operation. Although less dangerous than low water levels, water overflow can severely impact boiler efficiency, leading to significant fuel and steam output losses. One, causes of water overflow in boilers. One, improper feed water system adjustment. The water level sensor or level control system is not functioning correctly, causing excessive water supply beyond the safety threshold. In the case of a feed water system controlled by valves, if the valve is faulty and does not close tightly, when the water reaches the correct level, an overflow can occur. 1.2 Incorrect Operation The operator fails to thoroughly check the water level before starting the boiler, leading to excessive water supply. As the water heats up, it expands in volume and overflows. The operator may also neglect to monitor the sight glass or the signals from the water level system during operation. 1.3, use of non-standard water water containing impurities or untreated water can cause foaming, leading to inaccurate readings on the sight glass. This phenomenon is often referred to as false level readings or erroneous level readings in the thermal industry. This issue can occur when excessive water treatment chemicals are used, causing the pH level in the boiler to rise which results in foaming and inaccurate readings. This can be easily detected by observing the blowdown water from the boiler. If the water appears milky white, it usually means excessive chemicals have been added, raising the pH and causing foaming. This leads to false water level readings and heavy water carryover into the steam, which negatively affects production. 1.4, sudden changes in steam load. When the steam load decreases sharply in the plant, but the water supply is not adjusted in time, water will accumulate and overflow. This issue is very common in food factories, such as dairy and beer plants. For example, when the load drops from 100% to 10%, 20%, if the pump control system is not optimized, water overflow can easily occur. Two, consequences of boiler water overflow. Reduce steam quality. When water overflows into the steam lines, the steam produced contains more moisture, which affects equipment that uses steam in the production process, such as dryers and autoclaves. 2.2, increased fuel consumption. Excess water in the boiler requires more energy to boil, increasing fuel consumption without improving efficiency. 2.3, damage to boiler instrumentation and steam side equipment. Water carryover caused by foaming or priming can damage boiler instrumentation, such as sensors, pressure gauges, and steam traps. The water carrying impurities will accumulate in the pipes, causing false signals or damage to the equipment. Three, how to fix water overflow. Point one, stop water supply immediately. When you notice that the water level in the boiler exceeds the safe threshold, stop the water supply immediately to prevent further overflow. 3.2, perform bottom blowdown to lower water level. Use the bottom blowdown valve to remove the excess water and return the water level to the safe range. 3.3, inspect the feed water system. Check the water level sensor in automatic control system. If the sensor is misaligned or unresponsive, replace it immediately. For a feed water system controlled by valves, ensure that the valve closes tightly when the water reaches the correct level. 3.4, clean the sight glass. Remove any impurities or deposits on the sight glass to ensure accurate water level readings. Cleaning the sight glass is a simple but important routine. During each operating shift, close the lower valve of the sight glass, then open the upper valve. After that, open the blowdown valve of the sight glass to allow steam to flow from top to bottom, effectively cleaning the inside surface. Performing this regularly helps maintain accurate water level readings and prevents buildup of impurities. 3.5. 
Adjust the operating procedure. Adjust the water supply to match the current steam demand of the plant. In the event of water overflow, use a feed water system with proportional control based on the boiler's internal water level. This system increases the water flow when the level drops and gradually reduces it as the level rises, stopping completely once the boiler reaches the full watermark. This prevents overfeeding and ensures stable operation. 4. How to prevent water overflow Regular maintenance of the water level system Clean the water level sensors and check the operation of the low, low, and high water level alarms to ensure they are functioning properly. 4.2. Monitor the sight glass regularly. The operator needs to check the sight glass at the beginning of each shift to detect any signs of water overflow. 4.3. Use standard water. Use a water treatment system to remove impurities and reduce foaming that causes false readings of the water level. Supply the right amount of water treatment chemicals. Do not use too much to avoid foaming and false water level readings. 4.4. Provide operator training and boiler water level control and alarm response train staff on how to monitor signals from the water level system and how to quickly address abnormal situations. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.